Hello. So, I haven't done a video on this for a while, but I wanted to, like, so, so this comes up, this comes up a lot. Like, people ask me, because I often refer to something known as the Holy Trinity. I've done a lot of videos on this a couple times, but uh, the last time I've done a video specifically on this was actually last year. It's been almost a year since then. Um, so, we'll talk about, so the Holy Trinity um, is uh, made up of three heroes, Sebastian, Aurora, Celeste. Um, generally speaking, these are the best three heroes in the game. Sebastian's the best, followed by Celeste, followed by Aurora. Like I said, those three heroes, like, generally speaking, I recommend everybody have those heroes. Like, these are, like, if you're trying to win at a high level, there's few heroes in the game who will help you get more wins in, like, Guild Wars and stuff uh, than these three heroes. The fourth best hero is uh, Isaac. A lot of times you'll call this Quadrinity. Like, with him, like, they call these Quadrinity lines. Um, cause you have the Holy Trinity plus Isaac, like, uh, he's the fourth best hero in the game. So like in these, these four heroes, you will see them a lot in Guild Wars. They are very common on both attack and defense. And a lot of times you'll see them in arena stuff. Like these four heroes pretty much define the entire metagame. And if you're just working on developing hero stuff, like, you know, having these heroes, uh, is a very good start. But let's go back to like... Uh, why Aurora is good. Like, Aurora herself is one of the best DPSs in the game, but she's a tank. This is kind of leads to her being broken, right? You take a tank like Astroth, he has no DPS and potentially he does not do AE damage, so we can't counter Martha's Teapot. Um, like I said, he doesn't, at high end, his, his mitigation just isn't very sufficient. He takes damage pretty badly at the high end. I mean, he's okay on the armor wise, but Aurora can dodge, which is just generally better. Um, because no matter how much armor penetration you have, um, Aurora is always going to dodge a portion of that. Like, even if you have enough armor penetration to do max damage to any tank in the game, Aurora is always going to be mitigating a, a good portion of the physical damage because she's dodging. Same thing with magic. She has an ability called Rainbow Halo um, that gives her um, potentially the best magic mitigation in the game. This allows her to absorb 85% uh, of incoming magic damage. Um, really, the only other hero who can absorb magic damage at a similar rate is Isaac um, with his um, capacitor here. Like, he absorbs 66% of magic damage. Um, but he actually has magic defense. Unlike Aurora, you can actually get him some magic defense. So, you like said, especially Mara Page. So, his magic defense is actually good. Mar Aurora has essentially has no magic defense because generally she doesn't really need a rainbow halo. Um, but those are like the two main best, best uh, magic defense heroes, like mid magic mitigation. So Aurora, like that, but because of the way uh, rainbow halo works, because of the way um, his capacity work, Isaac's capacity works and stuff, right? Um, doesn't matter how much magic mitigation the other or magic uh, penetration the other team has. Uh, these heroes will always mitigate a majority of the incoming magic damage. Um, this makes them very good versus mages, and this part of why Aurora is such a good tank is also why Isaac's such a good hero, though he is does have a weakness in that he's kind of underwhelming versus like physical attacking teams. Um, but yeah, no, so Aurora, though, she just does so much damage, especially with Kane Patron. She's able to spam her ult a lot, and she does any damage. She just has really good damage potentials. Like, so she kind of breaks the rules of the game while being one of, simultaneously being one of the best tanks in the game while being one of the best damage dealers in the game. And this kind of lets you kind of break the game. Um, you have, uh, Sebastian. He's the best support in the game. Um, he lets you block, uh, status effects. Like, there's so many heroes with nasty status effects, and... Not having Sebastian, like, including Isaac, like, he can put silence, you see, like, not having Sebastian, not having access to Sebastian, uh, makes the game a lot harder. Just being able to bring in Sebastian to protect yourself from status effects will let you win so many fights on its own. Um, the other hero, like, is, like, Celeste we talked about, like, so go back to the Holy Trinity. Right, Celeste is also, like, generally the best healer in the game. Um, like, it's pure healing potential. Martha is probably the best in pure healing potential, but... Martha has a weakness in that uh, she heals via teapot, and if uh, any AE damage uh, can knock that teapot over, it only has one health. Like in Aurora, being how common she is, uh, hits Martha pretty hard, really shuts down that teapot healing, greatly reduces Martha's healing potential. Um, because of this, like Martha uh, oftentimes could be lackluster, so Celeste is kind of like the option, though she gets countered by Isaac. Um, another healer you'll see a lot at the high end is like Thea. Um, like I said, she's kind of unheard but especially post-Ascension, she is very, very strong. And I did a video a few weeks ago about how Athea is often stronger than Martha. Like, Athea is usually better than Martha in a lot of lines against a lot of teams. 
Um, so Thea is another option. This is kind of why, but um, you have Celeste used so much, though, is that unlike uh, Thea, Celeste has an ability called Cursed Flame, which blocks healing on the enemy team. And this is not a stage effect. Like in her dark form, she puts Cursed Flame. This is not a stage effect. It's a field effect, so it can't be blocked by Sebastian or anything. Um, and speaking of blocking stage effects, she also has a Purifying Sphere, which does block and cure status effects on a single target. Um, so, like, so she's just a very strong healer. And... She this one right here makes allows her basic attack to do lots of magic damage. So she ends up being a decent DPS on her own. Um, so like unlike Martha and Thea who have almost no DPS, uh, Celeste is actually a pretty decent DPS. So this again kind of lets you cheat the game. So right, so now you have um, two DPSs without even having a DPS. You also have Sebastian. And because Sebastian has his battle song, he can actually do pure damage um, with critical hits. So let's say you want to pair him with, let's see, let's get a example here. Ooh, let's, I actually got a great example here. Let's find a battle challenge. Um, We might not be able to do that with uh, Aurora there, but we'll try it. But we are going to do, let's see. Let's find a good DPS here. Let's so we can do a uh, Yasmin maybe. Let's do it here. Cause there's no Celeste here on this line, so let's. Boom, boom. Then we can put another DPS here. Hi, here we go. Let's do Dante. Let's do... Actually, I think we do want... We've got Dante's options. Let's remove Yasmin. Of course I did. Um, Dante... I don't know. Yasmin, Dante's kind of awkward, but... I think we do it this way. It'd be different. Like I said, so let's just... I just this is good just to, for an example here. Like I said, we have three Dodgers, which is kind of awkward, but... Okay, there we go. This will actually work against this line. Because I want to show you something, but uh, like I said, this actually is not too bad. It's a bit awkward because you only have one cane and you have three heroes who really want to use cane, but it gets the job done. Um, so, but like, notice how, like, even like I said, Aurora is actually a bit lower here because there wasn't any magic, real magic damage stuff, but uh, like I said, but uh, you have like all these DPSs. Like, Sebastian becomes a DPS um, with like physical attackers because of Battle Song. And Celeste and Aurora actually do respectable damage, like in other lines, like. Like said, you can, um, you'll see them do way damage, high damage. Like, so they're just kind of like, you're able to cheat the game and essentially have five DPS teams. That's part of why this works so well. Like another line that's really good is something called the trifecta killer. Um, and this is really good versus a lot of these kind of lines. So let's go Isaac, Celeste. Oh, I said Celeste. Trifecta killer. We'll see if this does works. With the Axel here, you can sometimes protect Yasmin, but uh, this is a line called the Trifecta Killer. This is a Quadrinity line. It's generally one of the best uh, Quadrinity lines, one of the best ways to use Yasmin. I did a video about this a couple times, but uh, this line is pretty effective against a wide variety of teams, like surprisingly really good. Um, is this line called Trifecta Killer? And I'm gonna have to do a video specifically about Trifecta Killer. But Yasmin died, and that's, like I said, that's the downside. Like, Celeste is really good versus Yasmin, so is Aurora. But it, that does seem to work. Like, if you can get that silence to go, um, it works quite well. There you go. Boom, that's a win there with the trifecta killer. 
right? So Isaac becomes a DPS. Like then you have Aurora actually do a lot of damage. Uh, Yasmin didn't do too much since she died early. Celeste, like said, you know, especially in manual, you can get Celeste to do a lot, but that's kind of like why that, that combo is so strong. Like they're strong together. They're strong individually. And just having access to them, having access to these three heroes just greatly increases your ability to win fights because you can now win fights against a larger uh, portion of the field. Like if you don't have Sebastian, right, all kinds of heroes, nasty stays effects will wreck you. If you don't have Celeste, you'll lose to like all of her patrons and other uh, things because the Cursed Flames need to shut down healing. And Aurora is just generally the best tank of the game. She does a lot of DPS. Um, She can shut down Martha. She's one of the best counters of Martha. Um, and she's just like, you know, the complete package uh, has high health, great mitigation stats. And, you know, like I said, it's just... Yo, she's just really strong. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun and informative. Um, thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing or donating to me and uh, check out my other content. Thank you very much.